Hi, I'm Pete Placina, the Gadget Guy. Now let's have a look at what's in the box your camera comes in. Right, now you've spent hours researching which DSLR is right for you. You've shopped around for the best price, you've saved your pennies, and now you've made the purchase. Don't worry about the nausea you're feeling, having just spent so much money. That feeling goes away shortly after you open the box and get to handle your new camera for the very first time. So what's in the box? You should have a CD loaded with software and most importantly an instruction manual. Make sure that you keep this safe because you'll find yourself consulting it often. There'll also be some data transfer cables. Keep these safe too, you'll need them later a neck strap that attaches to the camera and it should be placed around your neck whenever you're using the camera. Ah, and the camera body itself. But before we get into that, let's go to a really important thing first. Find the battery charger, find the battery and find the power cable to the charger. Now plug the cable into the charger, slide the battery into place on top and plug the charger into the wall. This is where you hit your first and hopefully only disappointment. You can't use the camera until the battery is fully charged. Never mind, there's more to be done. It's time to put the lens on for the first time. Most cameras come packed with a cover over the lens mount on the front of the body where the lens locks into place. Pick up your camera body, hold it securely in one hand and with the other hand twist the cover off. You can now see into the body where you'll notice a mirror at 45 degrees. This is where the single lens reflex name comes in. That mirror reflects the light that comes in through the lens up onto a focusing screen above. That is exactly the same distance from the end of the lens as the sensor that's hiding behind the mirror. The head of the camera contains a prism that bounces the light around so that you see the image the right way up when you look into the viewfinder. When you press the shutter button, the mirror flips up, allowing the light to hit the sensor at the back of the camera, where millions of tiny pixels record your image. So it's a single lens that you're looking through to frame and focus the image, and the mirror's reflex action adds up to the name Single Lens Reflex. Okay, rocket science lesson 101 over. Now, if you didn't buy a camera kit that included a lens or two, or if you didn't buy a lens separately, you won't be able to take any photos. A DSLR camera is only as good as the lenses you put on the front of it. So you'll need to look into purchasing a lens. Assuming that you do have a lens to hand, like I do, grab it and take off the cap on the back of the lens and carefully line up the white dot on the back of the lens with the white dot on the body of the camera. Like that. Now, the dot color may vary between different brands of DSLR. Push them together and twist the lens anti-clockwise until you feel and hear it click into place. Let go of the lens carefully with your hand, ready to catch it if you've got this step wrong. Good. Lens attach correctly. Now here's a valuable tip that the pros use. When you're connecting the lens to the camera, have the camera body facing down. Yeah, I know it's counterintuitive, but it's a way of avoiding dust and other contaminants dropping onto the mirror and making their way onto your camera's precious image sensor. Now hopefully there was one accessory that you did buy with your new lens a UV filter. And why is this an absolute essential purchase in my book? Well, not only does it cut out some of the UV haze in exterior shots, it's a piece of glass that helps to protect the front element of your lens. Basically, you should try to avoid touching the glass elements on your lens. One scratch and they're rendered useless. So with a UV filter screwed on to the front of your lens, it's the filter that you clean when you get dust and moisture on the front, not the lens itself. 
And more importantly, if you knock the lens and scratch the UV filter, you'll be very grateful that you scratched a relatively cheap replaceable glass filter and not your expensive lens. Almost all lenses come with a lens hood that cuts glare or light striking the camera from the side. Attach the lens hood to the front of the lens. And now your camera's ready. There's three more things you can do while waiting for your battery to charge. First, load the image software that came in the box onto your computer. Most manufacturers include software that helps you process and touch up your images, as well as organizing them on your PC. Two, visit the camera manufacturer's website and see if there are any software updates you need to download. And three, this is the most important one. Go and make a nice cup of tea or coffee and sit down and read the instruction manual. There are so many amazing features on a modern DSLR that even the most experienced photographers discover something new when they take the time to read the manual. And fresh out of the box is often the only time they do so. Oh, and welcome to the creatively rewarding world of DSLR photography.